Well, today, Virgin Galactic got one step closer to sending tourists to space. The company co-founded by Sir Richard Branson launched a commercial rocket to the edge of outer space for the very first time. It was manned by two pilots. The test flight traveled 271,000 feet up, about 51 miles. Sir Richard Branson joins us now from the Mojave Desert in California. So, Mr. Branson, tell us about today's launch. It's the fourth test flight of this spaceship, too. What's really your biggest goal here? Ah, well, look, today was, um, was, as you say, an historic day. Um, I think this is the first uh, spaceship um, company to actually put somebody into space from American soil since uh, 2011. Uh, and we are the first of the commercial spaceship companies to uh, put people into space. So um, there's a lot of very excited, happy people here. Um, uh, so we'll do another two or three test flights like this into space. Um, we'll then move the whole operation to New Mexico, to a, the beautiful spaceport that's been built there. Uh, then I plan to go up into space and I'm very, very excited to look forward to that next year. And then we'll start putting uh, the hundreds of uh, astronauts who have signed up to go into space with us uh, into space. And, um, and then over the next few years, we're building you know, a number of new spaceships and hopefully um, we'll be able to put quite a few people are watching this program one day into space. And people are so excited about this, you know, but like all other space programs, you've had setbacks, including a crash four years ago that killed a pilot. What did you learn from that? Space is hard um, and uh, test pilots are incredibly brave people. Um, and there are some things that you can only land uh, actually in the air. You can't, le you can't learn everything on the ground. Um, uh, so. Uh, you know, so in in the last four years, um, we've we've you know we've 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 worked extremely hard to try to make absolutely sure that uh, the program is safe for our test pilots, but also uh, ultimately, even more importantly, safe for the public. Um, and I think you know um, you know that we, we, we feel very good, uh, you know, very confident that we've got it right now. People are so excited that there is this push to focus on space. You, Elon Musk with SpaceX, Jeff Bezos with Blue Origin. Of the three of you men, who is going to make it to really get this efficient and safe manner for space travel and, and space tourism? Well, I hope all three of us um, will get there. Um, the, the, there are so many people who would love to go to space uh, that, you know, I don't, I don't see it as a, as a space race as such. Although obviously we're glad to be the first to put people up there. Um, they, they, you, never, you, never, you, never, you never see something as a race unless you're actually the first. Um, the, um, uh, the, the, um, um, but um, you know, uh, Jeff is, going, is, is, is running a very similar kind of company to us, um, but a very different experience for the passengers. And um, so you know, he will be la land-based rocket. Ours is a spaceship that flies and comes back down on its wheels. Um, his comes back down on a parachute. Um, they're both, I think, very valid. I think they'll both be a, tremendous experiences for people. Um, and my guess is that people will want to try both if they can afford it. Um, and it comes uh, with but, a pretty expensive you know, the, price tag, I should say. When can regular folks be able to travel at one point the way it would, you know, buying a economic, an economy class uh, airline ticket? It's very similar to the 1920s with commercial um, flights across the Atlantic, it costs a very similar price to what we're, we're spending today to put people into space. But over the years, the price of crossing the Atlantic came down and down and down. And if we can get enough spaceships built and flying, um, I'm really hopeful that a lot of people watching your program uh, one day will be able to go to space. Um, and that's our aim, is to try to make it safe and affordable for as many people as possible. And um, today was a very important milestone um, along that road. And Richard, I'm curious, when will you be taking your first flight? I'm itching to go. <laughs> and my guess is, um, my, I, we, we, my guess is within six months. And, wow. and I think I can pretty confidently say that today. All right, we look forward to it. Richard Branson, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.